Live music, great food, and a collection of cars from every era. Hi, I'm Zarina Karazada here to tell you about Good Neighbors Day in the beautiful city of Hawthorne. That's the sound of nostalgia. More than 30 classic car owners brought in their pride and joy for spectators to get a glimpse into the past. We're just telling the boys how this car is probably older than anybody here. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. There's a lot of nice cars. It's always a good thing to bring the community and the people together. While neighbors took a stroll down memory lane, owners got a rush from the eye candy around them, and of course, got a chance to talk about their own labor of love. It did not look like this when we bought it. It was pretty much all stock with a really bad 350 in it. When, when the world closes in, I drive that and I'm 17 years old again. From classics to newer models and lowrider trucks, this car show is a timing belt for any age to appreciate. To see that all these res are coming out together as good neighbors should make anyone feel happy. Beyond the slick rides, spectators changed gears when it came to the watermelon eating contest. Three, two, one, go! Contestants weren't allowed to use their hands, only their face to get to the green of the watermelon. First to do so won a $10 gift card, and more importantly, the title of Watermelon King of Hawthorne. Just kidding, they got bragging rights. What was your strategy? Just All right, eat the watermelon. <laughs> While contestants cleaned up, local bands kept the good vibes going, giving people a chance to unwind and take in the warm weather. I enjoyed the dancing. As you, as you saw, I actually did some of it. Um, and of course, I enjoyed the art. From caricatures. Did he have fun doing it? Yes, um, and um, I, we can't believe that he was able to sit still for 15 minutes. <laughs> Paintings and abstract art. Artists gave people a reason to slow down and take in each piece, which is exactly what the Hawthorne Historical Society says it wanted everyone to do. It's a day that really brings people together. Uh, out of the house, you know, you do your laundries and things on a Saturday, but today's the day you come out and you relax. It took more than 12 Historical Society volunteers to bring in local talent, food, cars and artists for everyone to enjoy. I'm really proud of what this uh, the Historical Society in particular has done to put this together. While good vibes kept the crowd going, some ventured off to get a first-hand view of what it was like behind these metal bars in the old Hawthorne Police Building. You can just slam a door on somebody and it has a completely different impact. Crowds of people filled into the small cells, interrogation rooms and isolation areas. They sleep on here? getting a feel for how cramped and uncomfortable conditions could be. The cells had beds for 12 inmates. More than that, inmates were sleeping on the floor year round without any AC. We've had two escapes and we caught both of them within 12 hours. Well, that's good. For residents, this was an eye opener of what it was like and a place they never want to be. Now these bars are closed for good, making way for new developments in the city. As people took one final look, the bands played on, leaving everyone with a memory they'll never forget. Thank you for watching Hawthorne's Good Neighbors Day. I'm Zarina Carzada. We hope to see more good neighbors like you next year.